Hey guys and gals, we're out in my shop today. Uh, I'm actually detailing the boat out, a pontoon boat. And I wanted to kind of show you, go over how I do my, my I detail boats, do paint and body work. Uh, up here in Crossland, Tennessee, it ain't too far from up to my dad, watch bar. But anyway, um, yeah, I've been working on this boat, worked on it a little bit yesterday. I'm on the opposite side today. Got a, quite a bit done. Got a little bit more to go and I'll be done with this one. But I just wanted to show you what I did. Start off with. You can see, here's kind of what you're dealing with right now. This is, this is, you know, all finished. And right here is not. I mean, you can, you can tell, tell the difference. And yes, we have the, the big dog here, old Darla, she's come out here to help me today. But anyway, yeah, this is what I've already done here on the front of it, and you can see how clean it is. And that's where, you know, it started off, and you really can't see none on this side, and I may go over to the other side and show you, you know, what it looked like before I started. Um, but yeah, what I start out with, what I start out with is this, uh, Starbright aluminum cleaner and restore. Uh, it's really good stuff, and it does take off. Man, I mean, it was some nasty stuff on this thing, and it come off. You know, you gotta let it set for a while and make sure you get a good coverage on it. And you may even have to put two coats. I mean, I pretty much use this whole thing here, and it's it's about twenty five dollars a jug, uh, but it works amazing. And I got that at a local boat shop here in Crossville, uh, Monex Marine. They helped me out with that stuff. And uh, the polish, after I got done doing that, of course I brought it in the garage and, and let it dry off good. Brought it in the garage and then now, and I'll show you exactly how I, how I do this. It's a 3M Marine Aluminum Restore and Polish. And this is all you need. I mean, this they say this stuff lasts for a, a year or maybe even two you know I, I don't know I can't I can't tell you that but uh, the other YouTube places that I looked at that's that's where they're saying I mean uh, I'm sure you still get your hard water stains but they say in the shine will last for quite a while so but I'll show you how I use because you use this stuff you know, and it don't take much at all I'll put it on the chesty put my camera on the chesty here in a minute let me go over here and show you exactly what the boat looked like when I Kind of when I got it anyway about that. But there's the old, the old crow. She's waiting to go fishing. I'm ready to go, believe me. I've been doing a lot of work down here in the garage, but maybe you can see, like here's the pad it's sitting on. And this black stuff here, green, whatever, you know, is where it's sitting in the water over the summer. And that was just this summer where it hadn't been cleaned out and that good. You know, you ain't gonna be able to get plumbed down, you know, as close as you can to the pad. But uh, but you can see this side, you know, turned out awesome. But yeah. All right, so I'll put I'll put my camera on my chesty here in just a second, and I'll get back with you, and I'll show you exactly how I do this. Stuff. But hopefully, you can see what I'm doing here. In just a second. It's a pretty messy job, so I do roll my sleeves up. But you just take this stuff, and as you can tell, it's just a it's just a paste. Is all I do is hopefully I get that where you can see this. But what I do, I just take a couple fingers and you rub it on just a little. Just kind of gets you four or five little stripes going there. Try to do about a a two foot by two foot section. Oops. Like I said it don't take very much of this stuff. And that's all I do, I put it on by hand. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is the way I found. I like doing it. I don't mind being dirty. 
but yeah there's roughly a two foot by two foot section and I just put the lid back on it try not to get as messy as I can I just wipe my fingers off no problems and of course I've got a, I've got a foam buffing pad you can use a wool one which is fine too I mean whatever you got I mean this is just what I use all the time I, I'm comfortable using one yeah, so hopefully now you'll be able to see what I'm doing. And I got mine set on, I don't know, it might be on, you know, I got a variable speed buffer. I've got it set on maybe about 1200. And I just lock my button down. Work it in real good. And then actually go out a little further. Down here is just kind of the tricky part. You gotta get your buffer as close as you can to the, the pad. And then a lot of times it'll get kicked out. That's fine. Take your time. It is a kind of a time consuming process. push real hard, it's kind of medium dressing.
that truck do that on that? Because that matches everything real good. I mean, you can sit here and spin. I mean, you could get it a lot shinier than that if you want to. I mean, heck, you can make a mirror out of it. The only spot that really has any residue left is down here, like where the hard water stain, where, where the actual, you know, where it's set in the water. You know, it's just a little bit rougher than it is up here. I mean, you can cure that. You can wet sand it and make it just as slick as up here. But, I mean, it's just going to go right back and set in the water. I mean, it's still shiny. I mean, it's just not like up here. But just wipe what little bit of residue you got off. Down here on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. Just wipe her down there. And there you go. Clean clean it out. like I said, you can get it. You know, you wanna get crazy with it, you can get some uh and this I did I don't know if I told you but I've you've probably seen it's just a three M product. <laughs> Really good stuff. I love it. And I've been I'll be polishing some other stuff later on with this stuff, but man, it works great. You don't have to work at it real hard. I mean, you just gotta massage it a little bit, get a little, you know, make sure you get get even pressure on it. And I mean, it's just smooth as glass. I mean, it's really really smooth. But I mean, if you wanted to spend more, you know two or three more hours on one side or maybe you know maybe along that you can wet sand that thing down and make it look like a pretty mirror even down here but you know that to me is plenty good enough for getting out on the water and uh, having a good time enjoying yourself and uh well I mean I even got stuff that I can do fiberglass with and I'll I'll do that in some more episodes later on and the other reason, kind of reason I hadn't been around lately, guys, uh, gals, uh, I've been uh, changed jobs. Uh, I was working in the pool, but uh, it kind of slowed down, so, you know, I, I've been doing it for, I don't know, 15 years, and uh, I decided to, instead of going, keeping, staying in the oil field business, I figured I'd try to stay at home and go to work for a while, so I, I'm going to try to do some you know, big tournaments in that this this coming year in 2022 if the COVID don't keep us from that again. Uh, but uh, either way, you know, I, that's the reason I had not been putting out any videos. It's been kind of life going on. And had to change jobs, get home, and try to get settled down. My I got a I, I'm starting a painting painting body business, auto paint and body, and then I, of course I do detail the, a lot of these boats. And I've got a couple other videos, and it'll probably be before this one, where I cleaned uh, some hard water stains off of a boat that was really, really bad. Um, showed you. I didn't tell you what my concoction was or anything, but I will in later episodes. I just wanted to get a video out and show you. Kind of, I mean, you can do this in your own garage. I mean, these buffers, yeah, they're a little expensive, but you ain't got to go and get a, a De, I've got a DeWalt, you know, variable speed buffer. I think I paid it was like 350 for it. And it. You know, it's quite expensive. And then the pads are, I think they're around $35 a piece. And the, and the polish, well, the restorer, it's about 25 And then this is about 35 you know, here. And, I, and again, I got this at Monax Marine here in Crossville. Uh, they helped me out a little bit on this stuff. So, uh, well, they ordered it for me. They just, you know, they didn't help me out, but they, uh, they ordered it for me. And, and they helped me out with a little bit of business. They give me, a, you know, these boats to detail out for them, and I enjoy doing it. Well, I absolutely love it. You know, I love making, you know, things look shiny. Um, I hope I hope I ain't rambling on too much, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of how you do this, and because I've seen a lot of videos and they talk about how they do it, but they don't actually show the, the process. And, and the, the aluminum store, not like I said, I was going to spray it on. I mean, just wet it down real good. Wet your pontoons down in the little garden hose. Uh, no scrubbing at all whatsoever involved. Well, if you got real bad hard water stains, now it gets you just a, a real uh, light Scotch-Brite pad. Spray this stuff on, 
and then let it set for a second and then just scrub that stuff off with a scotch brite pad but if you got a pressure washer you ain't even got to do that just uh spray it down good let it set for i don't know five minutes and then so, use a pressure washer and you ain't even got to scotch brite it i mean that, that's how easy it comes it makes it come off but i didn't have my pressure washer out and i was too lazy to hook it up so i did use a scotch brite pad over there on the other side and over here as well you know from it was about right in here down is where the, the hard water stains was at but once you get that done get a good even coat on it and i even put a second one after i rinsed it off uh just sprayed it that kind of lightly and and that's this is kind of what it what it what it turns out as and you can see you know where it kind of where i didn't get real good coverage it kind of run down a little bit but you know that thing was kind of rough and after I got done using that stuff, I mean, it was just slick as a ribbon, you know. It works out really well. You, know, you can see that you get there uh, with a little bit of work. I mean, you know, it's after a whole day, pretty much, if you wanted to do it yourself. And it's, like I said, it's not real hard, you know. You can get some of these buffers. I mean, you can get them a lot cheaper than what I paid for that one. I just got a paint and body business. I had it. I use it for, you know, buffing out cars and, and other, you know, fiberglass boats. But uh, anyway, I decided to buy one that last, so that's what I've done. And then just get the foam pad or a wool pad, whichever one you, you prefer. They both work great. The wool pad just kind of, it, it does create a little more heat when you're uh, doing this. And, you know, and, and I may be doing this wrong. I, you know, if I'm doing it wrong, you know, hey, I, it works for me. I'm not saying it'll work for everybody. Well, I mean, my wife's done it. I mean, it's, a, you know, she she knows absolutely nothing about this, and she has done some of this stuff before, so she's helped me out on uh, another boat or two before. Uh, it's not hard to use. It, it works great, and, and I have no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, love the results you get out of it um, so yeah and if you got any questions comments you know leave them in the comment section you know, I'll answer them you know if, if I can help you out you know like I said I'm located in Crossville Tennessee uh, I'm about you know 45 minutes from uh, Chickamauga Lake not very far uh, not too far from Center Hill Lake down in uh, you know, uh, DeKalb County and White County and Putnam Counties. Uh, I'm probably about 45 minutes away from there as well. Uh, it's a real good smallmouth lake. And they got good largemouth too. That's one of the lakes I like to fish a lot. Or I have, last year I gained a lot of confidence in that lake. I didn't really, you know, one of them lakes I never fished that much, but I got to where I enjoy going down there now. And we'll have a lot more videos to come <laughs> soon for down there. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so if you got any questions, comments about anything, just let me know. Uh, I, you know, I'll help you out. If you got a problem, I'll help you out with anything anything I can. You know, as far as cleaning these boats up, you know, even fiberglass. You know, we do oxidization. I can't even talk. Oxidation. You know, you can wet sand, buff it. You know, it has to be pretty far gone, you know, before you can bring back a shine. But you can. I mean, it's instead that it just takes a lot of time, and it's you're probably better off with a wool buffer at that a wool pad at that time because it does create the heat and that'll bring the clear that gel coat back up. You know where it warms up. And I have I have a special system I use when I'm doing it. And hopefully, maybe I'll get one of the boats in here that's this you know got a lot of oxidation on it. And I'm show you how to do it. You know from beginning to end, or at least a small spot like I did here. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, uh, like I said, any questions, if I can help you out, do anything, you know, I will. Don't care a bit to answer questions, you know, fiberglass, you know, pontoon, aluminum, whatever. Uh, if I can help you, you got a problem that's a real stubborn one that needs some, needs some stuff, or, uh, you know, I'll put in, put you in, uh, try to help you out the best I can. That's what I'm here for. I ain't making no money or nothing other off this stuff. I ain't monetized or nothing like that. So I'm just doing this because I, I don't know, I just enjoy it. Maybe one of these days I'll get lucky and make make a dollar or two off of this. <laughs> but I doubt it. Uh, but yeah, if you could, uh, just subscribe to my channel. I'll have a lot of more of this stuff coming up. And uh, 
uh, yeah, so you know, I now definitely have some fishing videos. I've been trying to do some hunting videos, <laughs> I haven't had very much luck. Me and my son, and uh, my dad, and my brother went to Land Between the Lakes, got drawn on the hunt there. And my son missed two two really good bucks, but it was he wanted to, he's, he's young, he wanted to use open sights. Uh, you know, I tried to talk him into getting a scope on his new muzzle loader, but he wanted to be a tough guy. Which he's young, he'll learn. And I think he did down there. He he had a two really good bucks come in. It was pretty pretty thick where we were sitting, and uh, it was just you know they was just too far away. But he tried to pop shot at them and, and missed both of them. But you know that's 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 life. You can't hit everyone. But we and we had a good trip. We done some fishing while we was there. Caught a few fish. Me and my brother both took our boats. And my him and my dad fished out of one boat. Me and my boy fished out of one out of my boat, out of the, the old crow, the phoenix, um, but yeah, we'll have more videos like that, hopefully I'll get some, maybe some hogs, that's what I've been trying, some hogs, I've been deer, you know, hunting a few times the last couple of days, and I ain't seen nothing but some coyotes, and couldn't even get a shot at them, I've seen one deer in, in, in three hunting trips, so that's not a, not real good, but I haven't scouted, I, it's, it's my fault for not getting out scouting. But yeah, anyway, I'll quit rambling on about stuff. Get back to work and let you guys. Uh, but yeah, so just subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so when I have a new video come up, you'll be notified of it. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can't make this channel grow some. Thanks, guys.